hi guys welcome back to my channel it is always a delight to be here it's always a pleasure to be here with you guys okay and we have a lot to cover today there's a, this topic is very very it's a very crucial topic and there is a lot to cover so i'm going to go right into it there'll be no time for for play play <laughs> I actually like playing a lot too, but there will be no time for place today because we have to cover this topic as soon as possible and I know I'm not actually here to waste your time so um if you know I jot a lot and it actually just helps me remember all the key points so that I don't have to talk and miss and give you guys something else than actually what I'm here to, to talk about so today's topic is um firstly if you're new to my channel please do want to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get notified every single time a new video is uploaded okay and if you're returning thank you so much i love you thank you <laughs> so today's topic is a very crucial topic like i said um related to this channel we're going to be talking having talk we're going to be talk, talking basically mainly on self-development self-discovery self-love we're going to be talking about christianity because i'm a christian a lover of god okay a g girl and also um we'll be talking about marriage as well okay because um i had so many perceptions growing up when i was younger so many perceptions of marriage and coming into it right now i began to see some some areas where the problems began to come, to start from okay and i feel like it will really really help a lot of people not a lot but the few out there who who whatever content i'm putting out there will resonate re resonates with so just um stay tuned to the end of this video and i assure you you will not regret it plus the highlight of this video is obviously at the end of the video not at the beginning so please stay tuned okay <laughs> and watch till the end so today's topic is um the wedding is over what next i mean um um post marital blues or anxiety post marital anxiety okay i made an i made a video earlier on the same topic and it took me almost one hour to complete because i was just saying stories in between and i just don't want the video to be that long so i had to redo the video now post marital anxiety what's postmarital anxiety um waking up after the whole courtship stage of love it love it dove of calling you three times a day telling you how much they care how much she loves you how much she loves you how much you cannot spend how much you cannot wait to spend the rest of his life with you and then the marriage part the the wedding um the wedding aspect comes and the next thing is you are all over the place running to go and get um, call of the day as we be run to go and, and get event hall run to go and look for event planner running to look for cake and all of that and your sense of judgment your sense of reality is clouded you don't even know what's happening in the real world again okay now you now wake up one morning it up and it happened to be sunday morning and you are finally in this person's house okay probably after the wedding and realize that um, it is over like no more running around you feel like you just feel like you don't have what to use your life to do anymore you just feel very very low okay and sometimes it leads to the depression if it stays longer in my own case it took me like close to a month if not a month a whole month to actually come out of that sorry excuse me to actually come out of that state i was in and I mean, when I felt like when I needed money, Sakma was pursuing me. I had to run after, I have to run fast. You get, I couldn't be staying, I couldn't be looking up and down and crying all the time. So I had to come out of it as fast as possible. So it's just like a shock you feel because during the um, the courtship stage, it's not like you are cutting in preparation for the wedding. They're not even cutting in preparation for the marriage. Most times they'll tell you, don't cut, cut with marriage in view not the wedding in view but let me just not lie for you as long as emotions are involved forget forget it 
you are cutting somebody you, i don't i don't because you don't even understand what is inside the marriage in the first place you don't even understand what marriage is about you might have read books and tons of books and books and books but you don't even know what it is you don't even know what is there but this one that you are seeing now you know that okay wedding is coming in front so you now start to pre you just have to cautiously prepare yourself for the wedding subconsciously you never know what is happening but you think for your mind in your mind you're thinking you are preparing for the marriage but you're preparing for the wedding actually and you wake up the next day after the after the wedding after you finally accomplished that dream i realized that what is now left of my life okay what is, what what will i now be doing now i mean the wedding has come and gone has it not so this is what this um video is um is all about today post marital anxiety okay and i had to jot some things down i'm um, i like to journal a lot especially when it comes to writing key points down i like to journal a lot okay it's paining me i talk a lot it's paining me that i will not be able to give you guys the juicy 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 because like i told you earlier this is something i actually experienced okay and it's really paining me that i won't be able to give you guys the juicy details in between all this point and everything because of my time and um like i said i wouldn't want to waste your time too long okay so firstly the feeling of tiredness the the motivation and stress sets in okay you've worked all you've you've cut it for two years and you got married finally you, you used like three months three to four months to prepare for the wedding and after the wedding you realize that oh my god in my case i fell sick because of the stress okay i had to make my i had to make my wedding dress i had to make my um traditional wedding dress i had to make a lot of things you know i had to do the run around because i was actually in a state where i really didn't have all my friends i didn't grow up here this is i'm lagos presently and i didn't grow up in lagos i grew up in abuja okay and here in lagos i really didn't the friends the few friends i actually had they helped in their little way but i didn't have anybody i can just tell hey you we are still going to help you to go to this place go to that place they were not here those friends that you grew up with that you grew up knowing you get so the few that actually were available they really did, did their best to help me which i am so grateful thank you shout out to annie most especially she my she's my g for life that girl she really helped me so um um sleeping and waking up to an environment you're not f familiar with <laughs> this happened to me a couple of times okay i'll just sleep on the and i'll be like please where am i where is this place and <laughs> you get i mean for me the the anxiety started i think after that same day of the wedding after after the whole thing firstly i was exhausted completely before the wedding because of stress of going to the market and stuff then during the wedding day i couldn't wait for the whole thing to just end let me just be going to the house i was tired i was exhausted i was just found in fact everything coupled together you get so on our way back um with my husband in the car with just him in the car with me coming back not coming home actually we had to go somewhere else but co going to that place actually just it just began to dawn on me that um, i see this story when i was growing up where a stranger came to marry a girl and they didn't know where he was coming from and the girl was like hey she'll marry him she'll marry him he's handsome and everything and <laughs> and he paid her he married her and on taking her back they realized that she realized that he he i don't know how i was very young when i heard that story she realized that he was i mean he was a spirit that he was a ghost or something something i share that story a lot so and that day particularly when we're leaving the hall it just began to dawn on me because we left everybody behind we left my in-laws my parents my brother my siblings we left everybody behind and i was just alone with this person this person's person that they they've been telling me before don't go to his house don't make sure you make sure you maintain um um sexual purity don't go there don't sleep over oh. don't when you go when you go open make sure the door is open make sure you go with somebody and now you're going with him and nobody's holding you back nobody's telling you no you are going to go with this person and you're like hey what's happening and you're like so this is the person i'm going to finally live the rest of my life with and stuff so that was exactly how it began to happen f for me and after that day i cannot actually tell that i felt sick in fact i felt really sick because of the stress that was accumulated that I, that I actually accumulated so one tip i'll tell you is before your wedding look for as many capable hands as possible who can actually assist you don't go and be doing everything 
everything i was trying to be a superwoman okay i wanted to do this i can do that actually i was able to but it told on me eventually after the whole thing i had to start treating taking drip and all of that so that's in the past though so waking up in the morning and realizing that where is this place where am i ha ah, jesus this is not my house okay and after i realized that oh okay i'm married oh this is not my house so that's true you know that kind of thing so yes that's the feeling and sometimes it can be weird okay so it feels like starting the journey of knowing your spouse just began all over again like the the the, the, the few years you had in courtship was the most rosiest years of your life no fights no arguments you will call you three times a day she will call you three times a day to check up on you if she doesn't call you she's chatting you up she's t telling you how she's sending you love emojis telling you how much she loves you blah 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 he's telling you how much he cares about you how he cannot wait to live the rest of his life with you but you know i think to the marriage and i when i realized that you are in the house now i cannot call you now i cannot send you text messages i cannot chat you unless every unless you just want to spice things up on your own but all those all those good money my love have you slept i'm him did you sleep did you dream about me did you wake up to me can you come can you it's no longer there okay it's now far 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 sorry far away okay you're no longer it's you know you know it's now the start learning the process of being with this person in the same space and loving this person i mean here's this particular aspect thing really not easy because there'll be a lot of imperfections there'll be a lot of things that you never even expected or, ex or thought would be there okay and you just realize that um, you you have problem he has problem everybody shall have problem nobody's perfect and you guys start working on it and gradually you start to relearn loving your spouse so it takes a lot it takes actually two to tango it takes a lot of work energy and effort okay so uh most times your your expectations won't tally with your reality okay you feel your spouse don't even love you again your expectations all those things you were thinking about when oh, when i marry i will do this when we do that okay first of all you've already built a particular image during courtship with all the i love you i can't live without you kinika kinika kind of talk you feel like that's how it's going to be with the time you cross over to the other side and once you finally do you realize that those expectations were all in your head there is nothing like that on the other side or even if it, even if it is there it's not as overly exaggerated sorry in the courtship stage so it's just there and even if it shows up it just oh, we'll manage it none you understand <laughs> So you start to miss your family, you start to miss your friends, you start to feel really downcasted and really unhappy. But don't worry, you're not actually actually alone. A lot of people go through this particular phase in their lives. A lot of couples they go through this phase in their lives. So I'm going to quickly go to the causes of anxiety. These are I just explained what it feels like, okay, before, after the marriage, and how you feel. Most and again, I'll I'll try, try I would like to chip it in. The, that it doesn't just happen at the beginning stage of the marriage room. it can happen at any point in the marriage at any point at all in the marriage where the both of you just realized suddenly that you are beginning to drift apart and you guys have to put in the work as fast as possible to come back together do you understand so it's about at any point in the marriage any point at all so just have to, all you have to do just to be prepared for whenever this shows up it can even happen once you start having children as a woman okay you begin to have children and you begin to lose yourself you begin to feel like ah you, you, you're not who you used to be now you live your life with your husband and your children now and you're beginning to lose yourself so this uh, this channel we're going to be talking a lot about all those things you make sure we will make sure not to lose ourselves in this channel we will make sure of that because it's very very that's one of the crucial things in fact i was actually scared in the beginning because i was like i was scared get married because i felt like once i get married i'll just wake up one morning and i'm like 60 years old and i'll be like what did i use my life to do okay i'm married i had children and that was it and i'm old already so i was i had that fear because of what i've been seeing growing up so with all those things i've been seeing growing up okay i feel like we're going to be talking we're going to be having a lot of topics on that okay and how to help us okay if you're yet to get married still keep watching it because it actually it'll actually help you know what to expect once you are now in the in the in the program okay because in that program you cannot you cannot you cannot you cannot come out you cannot graduate you are there you are there but 
it's best to pre you prepare yourself now okay with all this um videos i'll be bringing up in subsequent times on the tools on how to prepare on how to go into it with your armor with your sword with your helmets with your whatever do you understand so yes the courses quickly before i talk too much let's see calm down okay courses number one the um <clears throat> the heat of the month um the this heat hard because months leading to the wedding was all the wedding was all you could think about okay especially after, um, apart from the few months of cutting or few years of cutting after they proposed like this ah, I'm married, I'm getting married, ah. you are happy and you just lose yourself you lose yourself you start thinking about baby thinking of this thinking of that you are forgotten what you have you're going into you don't know people are in fact so i saw some so I, I saw it somewhere i think i read it in a book where somebody said that that period of will you marry me is not supposed to be a period where you're supposed to be jumping for joy that's where you're supposed to be used and go and go back to your home and sober reflect ask that your person why do you want me to marry you first of all what is the reason no? what think about it and think about it or not don't mind me i did it too but you know everybody <laughs> i did it too obviously i was i was just flaunting you know it had this very huge not even like this that's very huge diamond stone on it and i was just flaunting my you know my ring like you know but right now it is where so um that's um that be um, the clouding of your mind okay before you go into it you don't even know what's happening you just want to just you are you get so this sudden shift back into reality so after all those months of preparing and planning and planning and sewing ashwabi and sewing this and sewing that you wake up one morning probably the next day in the morning that is for the ones that didn't go on honeymoon like someone like me actually i didn't we didn't come back home after the wedding but still yet okay we didn't go to, the only thing that would have made me happy was if we had traveled out of the country to one very maybe to um paris or something okay at least wake up wake, wake up to see new things you never think about whether you marry being a marry you'll be very happy right <laughs> but in the case whereby you just even at that so it happens to because when you realize that um, you're not alone with this person and the whole people that has have authority over you has given you freely to this person to this person to hold you to care for you to protect you and everything you just realize that almost the, the um, government has changed hands okay apc and pdp apc has taken no 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 not apc apc will not take over in jesus name PDP, pdp or lp has taken over <laughs> yes yeah, so that is it um resource used up for the events you've you you've you've blindly spent and spent in fact in my own time after the wedding i was like i felt like all those things wasn't necessary at all i felt like they would have would have just would I just kept that money and done something very small and just maybe um, um, um travel afterwards or plant something else with the m money afterwards but you know uh, that's happened and I feel like everything happens for it for everything um happens for a reason okay God is the orchestrator of everything so he already know he had already planned that day beforehand and that was why it was that glorious and beautiful so i don't think too much on that mm -mm, i don't at all because if i want to think about it it's going to really pain me it's going to pain me okay so now the wedding is over and you have returned to your everyday life return to your everyday life before i got married i'm a fashion designer so i used to make dresses i have i have all my clients i had to put all my, I had to put my, my work on hold because i felt like i mean i have to make, make my wedding dress i have to look pink you know i have to make my my traditional wedding dresses and stuff so they were actually really understanding a whole a whole lot of them were really understanding but after the after the wedding okay i had to return to working again okay i had to like i didn't have a choice so everything now became so normal like it was not like you just you, you're just staying in the house with a with a flatmate okay not the person i used to call call before sorry excuse me not the person I used to call before and you're like i can't live without you i can't stay without you i can't da, 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 da. it's no longer there okay we're not sitting in the house with with some with just like a flatmate and you guys just have to you, you guys do not have to learn to cultivate things together 
with each other okay and and building your different dreams and goals separately do you understand so yes yeah, so changes in, in dynamics of a relationship before you got married he called you three times a day called you asked you whether you slept whether you dreamt of him whether you have eaten whether you went out where did you go to can you come can you come but after the wedding we are in the same house he cannot call you anymore he cannot chat you anymore he's in this house with you he's seeing you he cannot even tell you i love you because i mean you know i love you already why are you not expecting to tell you i love you if you understand you if you know you know <laughs> so quickly we're going to go into how to manage this anxiety how to manage it number one is prayer prayer is very very, very important it is very 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 important okay in my case right i didn't even know like i told you earlier i didn't know even what i was coming into but i knew that i came into this home with the holy spirit with me okay so and and the, the advantage we have as christians when it comes to this marriage thing is that firstly god is the orchestrator of marriage he knows why he 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 knows why he actually made it okay he knows the point he was trying to prove when he, he made it when he brought when he decided to bring two very different people together to become one and to be united in love and in understanding and in everything so he's the orchestrator and he understands he understands perfectly so he understands your spouse's mindset he understands your spouse's um, um perspective you understand your perspective so if the both of you are having a clash in perspective are having a clash in, are having a misunderstanding a misunderstanding the only person who can judge without taking sides is not your in-laws is not your people it's not your, your family it is god almighty do you get the only person that can actually judge okay so the best person to go to is god Firstly, you go to God to take over, to take charge of the situation, and in that place of prayer, you just get um, probably you get a solution on how to go about it. You get a solution, or you get a nudge on what to do to please the other person. Because without that, there is no way you will be able to know what's making it. Sometimes, if someone like me, in my in my case, it was terrible because I would just stay and start to get angry, get sad. My my husband is doing something that I don't like. He's something to talk. I'll start to carry face up and down and he doesn't even know that that is because of him and carrying face you understand but when at, at that stage he doesn't even know what he has done to make me angry or i don't even know what i might have done it can happen um um on both sides i might not know what i might have i've done suppose i said something in a way that i wasn't supposed to say it or do something in a way that i wasn't supposed to do it and it it hurts him in a way and doesn't want to talk and just just doing like this it's crying face up and down and you don't even know what to do you don't even know where to start from you have to go down I'm, I'm trying to work with time because this is very very plenty and i don't want to waste time okay you don't even know what to do the, the best thing to do is to go to god in prayers tell god okay so god do i don't know what's happening to my husband please help me what's happening you get and he would he would he might even show you in fact it can go as deep as in even showing it to you in your in your dream self just it just depends on your level of spirituality at the time so Number two, spend time together. Spend time together. Spend quality time. Okay, spend time to get together. You guys will get to understand. You guys will get to begin to understand yourselves by the time you spend time together. In the initial stage, your your in, in, imperfections will become so glaring and so clear and magnified. The things you never saw during courtship, it becomes so glaring and magnified. But by the time you keep on, as soon as as long as you keep on spending time to, together, what happens is you begin to you begin to to, to to understand each other and have similar um ways of doing a lot of things, okay, which would reduce the the issues that might arise in the marriage. So connect with family. Don't say I'm married now. Everybody should stay in their own or each other to your tent. No, try the best you can. I'm not saying you should, you should open your your, your Doors to every Tom, Dick, and Harry, but every single time chance you get, have fun, hang out with your family and friends, <coughs> hang out with them, make sure to be with them, make sure to spend time, quality time with your family and friends. Okay, aside from your spouse, because even just staying with your spouse alone can be overwhelming because you're, you're like you're looking at this particular stranger. I don't even understand what to do about he, he or she, so it can be overwhelming at 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 some point so focus on self-care self-work okay if you've not watched my previous video on self-work 
please go to the description box and click on that channel to watch my video on self work okay it is my first video it's my first video actually and i just hope you like it anyways i know you like it definitely but go there to watch it it was it is really enlightening to really help you work on yourself spiritually mentally and physically okay go and watch that video on self-work work on yourself because it was even in, the, in this marriage i began to understand some things about me began to come out i started seeing i, I felt like i started seeing myself i started mirroring as in i started seeing some of my insecurities mirrored in my spouse so i started seeing some things that i realized that i was doing that i never knew in, in the beginning that was even wrong okay and the same thing with and like it goes both ways as well they they you you you, you mirror their imperfections and you begin to work on yourself that's what that's why they say marriage teaches you a lot in fact you would learn a lot once you once you enter into it before you enter into it, you are like you are this carefree person i don't care what anybody has to say i am this i am a clinical that is who i am that is my zodiac sign okay you are a gen z abby enter the marriage and you understand yourself okay <laughs> okay enough with all of that um talk to your partner okay there is no way they will know what's wrong with you if you don't open your mouth you cannot just stay in one place and be sulking and be crying and um, crying yourself to sleep. Hell no. Talk to make sure that you guys iron it, iron it out. Try the best you can do not to be not to, uh, not not to talk about it in a very detasteful manner or in a, in an insultive way. God is helping me in that aspect because sometimes it can it can be overwhelmingly annoying. Okay, and you're just trying so hard not to you know not to you know that kind of thing. So try the best you can to quietly quietly talk to your spouse but you you should try to understand the times where he is available to be talked to don't just jump and every time and i sure i told you i don't mm, 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 mm. try the best you can to study study your spouse and know when it's when the right time is to talk to them talk to them at the right time play games okay i have at go and buy it whenever we are home like like this i we play we play we play we play sometimes i will set money but we play okay and i still plan to buy other games as well we play games a lot okay just to pass time and to create new memories together to bond very very important discover um discuss couple goals before you got married your dreams and aspirations were i want to i have to i need to i will i will but now you are married aren't you now it's not it's not i will anymore it is now we are going to we will we have to we are going to so at this point you guys are like partners okay in the journey of your life wanting to achieve what the what you am um, the both of you want to achieve but together okay as one so this is the part where you put in your quarter they put in their quarter and everything is moving forward make sure here what i said put in your quarter so like i said earlier we're, we're going to be talking a lot we're going to have a lot of videos on on all of that okay there's a lot to talk to be talked about when it comes to this self-development self-work marriage and the like um, st um topics okay there's a lot and just like i said do do what stay tuned okay and um, finally last but not the least move forward with fresh memories don't dwell on the past before he used to call me um my angel now he doesn't call me my angel again before he used to call me sweetheart now he doesn't come sweetheart again focus on the future my friend <laughs> focus, focus on other things okay even if he doesn't call you whatever you just know that in as much as you're still in that house with him and everything he still cares about you the same but just that he has just shifted his energy to to achieving other things so you yourself don't stay there so sulking and saying he eh, 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 doesn't do this for me anymore focus on other things too and before you know when you guys are free you come back together that's how it's supposed to be so um with these few points of mine i hope i've been able to um um convince and not to confuse and not to confuse you that um marriage anxiety it, it happens to like virtually 70 percent of couples okay 70 percent of even if you, even if you guys were staying together before you got married there is there is it, there is a difference there is always a difference okay 
there is always a difference because it's not the same as it's not it cannot be the same as we're now married so we now have to merge things together we have to think like before you got married even if you were staying together you kn know that if you do anyhow now i'll just i'll just you know i'll just but now you cannot go anywhere you are here you get you remain here for as long as 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 god tarries as long as you are in a place that is safe for not where they are you know hounding you that kind of thing so i wouldn't want to go more into it so um this is what we have for this particular video if you have any comment or questions do well to click on do well to do so in the comment section and i'll be there replying or answering if you actually want me to do any video on any topic of your choice anything that has been bothering you anything you any questions you have okay put it down in the comments section and i'll see to it okay do well to click on um do well to subscribe you guys please help my ministry subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get notified every single time a new video is uploaded until then until our next video have a beautiful day beautiful week okay bye